Hello, uh, good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Uh, today, I will show you ASP dot net web form callback features example. Uh, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to use callback features in ASP dot net web form. Basically, in previous uh, scenarios, uh, we have a simple uh, page life cycle, and uh, in every page events. Uh, like the triggering of buttons when we click on any buttons then page is load okay so again the page load in it unload method run but if you want to if you want to do something different like without any uh, refresh of the page and you want to call that features then what uh, what do that type of uh, thing you can do here by using the callback features so uh, here we have a button and the text box control and when we click on the button control then first to call to the javascript method that is use callback features and that method is called the page load events okay after that we can get the uh, raise event of the callbacks and get callback features okay so first of all in the script block when we click on the button so raise a on click event <coughs> uh, remember here uh, you should take HTML control rather than the ASP control because HTML control is compatible with this code so function get value when we click on the um, button that functions call first and that functions call the page load methods so it does not occur the page life cycle and page will not refresh when we click on the button so here we you can use use callback function after this you can use another function and that function pick value from the code behind file so get number server I mean to say get number from cut behind file and that number print on the text box so uh, use the text box one text box one and the context context is the argument here okay now I want to print uh, the random number on that so use the document dot forms forms of zero that is the first form dot text box there is no uh, option here so write it here text box one dot value uh, here forms zero dot text box one is the name of the text box actually dot value equals to what that is text box one dot text okay so text box one now this is the uh, here uh, your script function is clear first of all when we click on the button get value use callback function call and that function call to the page load events okay so first of all use an interface i callback System dot web dot UI and that interface include and that namespace I callback event handler I callback event handler and in the traditional scenarios uh, we use I ca uh, I postback event handler okay so create a private string variable 
curve back result is assigned the tunnel value and use curve back function call to the page load event so here create a first reference value page dot client script dot get callback event reference this and the argument callback a string call uh, client callback and that is the use callback function I want to get number server function in double quotation when we use use callback that call to the uh, base load and Base load call get server number function using the get callback event reference CS script that is another variable call use callback function use callback function copy it to here and paste it here in which we can take argument context okay plus when uh, button is click and uh, in which function we have a c reference value in that method the page dot client script dot get callback event reference call when we call the use callback function i mean to say uh, the random numbers and data on in the text box okay now use page dot client script dot register startup stri uh, script and that script is used for calling the javascript method register client script callback this dot get type method string key the key is use callback and the function name is string scripts that is CS scripts in the CSS script we have another use callback function that directly refer to the C reference uh, and the C reference contain the server method okay now the main logic is here public void raise callback raise callback event that is the main logic implement uh, of the callback feature is it here string event arguments if you want to do anything then must to assign a value it here okay so random r is new random
call back of the string value assign that r dot next dot to string any number between the next value that value is assigned to the callback result and return that callback uh, string by using the get here we have it two methods first one is raise callback event and the second one is get callback result okay result okay I'll return that callback result yeah your uh, code is implemented and you can see your result if you want without a refresh of your page and data will post it to the server then you can do that things by using the callback features so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to sv.net web forms and i promise you i will provide you better video tutorials uh, which is related to sv.net here is your output when we click on the button then page is not refreshed but data is posted yeah so thank you thank you very much again